What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and I really don't know what I'm doing with my hands but welcome back to a brand new video. Day number three of our uh, upload streak actually. Today yet another workout video. I wanted to vlog today but I really didn't do any interesting today. Like It was super super boring so I decided to just do uh, another workout video. I know I'm a creative genius. All right. So today I want to bring you guys an arm workout and, and when I do arm workouts I don't do them very often on its own. Um, today I combine it with chest uh, but when I do them I like to superset them. So what I actually do is do I do biceps and then triceps right after. If you don't know what a superset is basically doing two exercises right after each other without any breaks. I do three supersets, uh, one bicep, one tricep in each superset of course, so three exercises for each muscle group to train. First one is gonna be the easy bar push down for triceps, and we're gonna superset that with some straight bar bicep curls, both with cable, because they can also warm up really well on cable, so that's why we start with cable today. Both we did 10 reps, so 10 reps on triceps, and then 10 on biceps. With these exercises, it's very, very important to keep your elbows in the same stable position, so you make sure to rotate around it instead of using your shoulders to lift or push down the weight we really want to actually isolate the bicep and the tricep in these movements so you want to keep your elbows as steady as possible what i really recommend you guys doing with the tricep extension is really holding it down for like a second or so so you get the best contraction possible what you don't want to forget when doing triceps are some overhead movements. This way you can hit the other heads of the tricep as well and with overhead you're, you're really hitting the long head of the triceps. A lot of people think your biceps make your arm look bigger but it's actually your tricep as it is two thirds of your arm. The third superset we're going to do today is a quite easy one. It's a tricep kickbacks with dumbbells and a single hand hammer curl. What I try to do with the tricep kickbacks is have my hand as high on the dumbbell as possible. That way it puts way more weight and way more stress on my tricep when going back. Another thing you should do when doing tricep kickbacks is having your shoulder and your elbow are at the same height. I see a lot of you guys do tricep kickbacks like this. This puts minimal amount of stress on a tricep. You actually want to do it like this. This way it's way harder and way heavier to do for your tricep. The single hand hammer curl is just a fairly easy exercise. Right now you want to you want to grip the dumbbell as low as possible so you make sure the weight is going upwards and it's actually more weight that you're carrying with your biceps. What I try to imagine doing with these hammer curls is bringing my arm to the other side of my chest. So for example, when doing the left side, I come to the right side of my chest all the way up. Same thing applies, of course, to the other side when I go with my right arm, go to the left upper corner. So if you want to hit some arms tomorrow, this is a good workout to do, some supersetting. This is very intense, you can get a great pump out of it, and I think the benefits are really great. Tomorrow is of course going to be a new video as I try to upload every single day. Today I didn't really feel like making a crazy vlog because I wasn't doing any crazy stuff. So that's very boring for you guys to watch. So I'd rather give you guys a good workout to do for tomorrow than doing than giving you guys nothing. Because I promise to give you a video every day of this month. So I'm going to keep my word. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.